Now, the first thing I notice is this hydraulic link is actually pushing through this part. And I can see that if I just identify on the hydraulic base, go to view, and I'm just going to change the color here to say blue clear. And again, if I touch on my cylinder, I can see that's pushing all the way through. So I'm going to double click on that to open that hydraulic cylinder. And now I'll just use synchronous technology to identify this face and just pull that in a little bit up to right there so it just fits inside the cylinder. It doesn't go any further than that. And I can close and return. So now let's take a look at how this hydraulic cylinder can add more control to our mechanism. So let's fit the view and show how this hydraulic link can add more control to our mechanism. So I'm going to go back to home, simulate motor, and when I simulate the motor, drag this little piece where the blue line is, and see I'd like to go from here to here, and see how the hydraulic link moves through that motion. So we don't want the crank to be going around in 360 degree increments. We only want the crank to go from about here to here. So what I'm going to do is delete this motor right here, just go to the plus sign, the rotational motor on the crank, identify the motor, right mouse click, and I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to add another motor, a linear motor. But before I add this linear motor right here, I need to figure out what distance the hydraulic cylinder is traveling through. So to do that, I'll just go out to sketch. I'll just take a quick measurement here. Go to the line command, and I know it's going to travel from about here up to here. And if I want to, I could put a dimension on that. So we're looking at about 22 millimeters for that. I can just undo. So now I can go up to motors, linear motor, and I want the linear motor to be on this hydraulic cylinder piece right there. And which way do I want it to run? Right along that axis right there. And here's the critical limit that I just figured out. I measured that at about 22. Enter. And I'm done. I've added the motor. So now I go to simulate motor and take the defaults and hit play. Now, why does my motor run down? Why does it push down instead of up? It's not going the way I want. And the reason why, if we just go back here, I'll close out and say no save. If I go back to the motors, touch on the linear motor, right mouse click and say edit definition. I'd like to reverse the direction because it's saying, oh, the direction's pushing down to start. Now I'd like to flip that around so it's pushing up. Now if I go back to play, take the default and hit play, it runs in the right direction. 